Hey everyone, we're still out here in Legacy Performance Academy and we decided since we were out here that we would do some player spotlights. And today uh, I've got a couple of young men sitting next to me, Dylan Curtis and Brandon Ott. Uh, from uh, what team, which one are you on? Uh, Kessler's 14U team. 14U team? 15U team. That's right. 15 U team. Ringy 16 U team. Ringy 16 U team. Uh, you're going to be going to what high school? Desmet. Desmet? Francis Howell. Of course, Francis Howell. Say hi to Coach P. Yep. Yeah, yeah, we've been, we, we, we brought your name up in our uh, GAC preview. Yeah. Whatnot. I love Coach Canavan. Yeah, I do too. Yeah. yeah. He's always That's... coached with Craig too, which is good for me too, because yeah. uh, he knows how to do it, and I've been. Learned it from Craig for like two years now, so should be good. Yeah, absolutely. That's that's good stuff. Uh, Dismet's going to be good this year. Again. I hope. Yeah. Um, I, hope. I think uh, it's going to be a lot of fun to watch. Yeah. Uh, France Howe, of course, right there. I think you guys got another run in you. Yep. Hopefully. Hopefully. I want to start. What we were talking before we started. You guys grew up playing baseball together, didn't you? Yep. Yeah. What, what you started? What? How? How old? Uh, five you. Yeah. Five you. <laughs> Is there five you? I, I, <laughs> that's what we started playing. That was a while ago. <laughs> so did was it Coach Pitch? Uh, yeah. Coach, Coach Pitch. pitch. I, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Did yeah. you guys run to third base instead of first base? Yes. Probably. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like something I would do. <laughs> Everybody does. I, I know. We've been watching uh, my my son-in-law over there. His 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 boy Leland. Is playing uh, coach pitch now, or is T-ball right? Machine pitch. Machine pit. Well, they're doing machine pitch now, but they started with the coach pitch, yeah. and it's so fun to go out and watch the kids, man, run and whatnot, and everybody tackles the baseball. Somebody picks it up and chucks it over to first base. It's great, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the fun stuff. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you don't remember that though, do you? Not no. at all. <laughs> What do you guys, what's your earliest memories playing together? Tell us a story about uh, youth baseball. I don't remember any of it, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't remember. I remember the big hill from down in Ellisville that we always used to sit on, and I remember you getting thrown out of a game. <laughs> and uh, he was standing up on top of that big old hill and watching us play, and then we ended up winning. <laughs> I remember that. That was like... About it. Well, there's a story. Oh, That's a great story. Dad got thrown out of the game. <laughs> we still won it. Why not? Standing on the hill in yeah. Ellisville. Yeah. That's all I remember. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> oh, Dylan? Um, well, me and Brandon played for about five years together, and uh, one time we got to uh, hit back to back home runs. And at, uh, what was it? Edwardsville. Turf fields. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Was that the first home run you hit? Yeah, yeah. We hit back-to-back -back home runs. I had a grand yeah. slam, I think, and then Brandon hit back-to-back -back home runs. So, yeah. Those are good um, stories. Yeah. Back-to-back <laughs> -back home runs, and your dad got thrown out of a game. Yeah. Still won though. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. We did. We did. I love that stuff. What you guys learn? You know, youth baseball. When we were talking uh, before, and you guys have been growing up different age and you know you've been growing up in this kind of environment how's it helped you as as athletes as you continue to grow well since this thing got built it's helped a lot um we come here almost every single day hit pitch lift um they've helped us with nutrition uh there's tyler white he has helped us with um like adjustments and breathing and all that stuff and yeah this is there was, an art to breathing yeah apparently there is <laughs> but yeah this place special yeah? yeah do you like being here love it there you go yeah i uh i when i was playing with them i wasn't the best person on the team because i was younger than everybody um but i was still trying to keep up and then we built this like a year before i left that team and dropped down to my own age and i think it helped a ton because that fall ball season when i first dropped down i think i batted 750 and then uh obviously i'm not hitting that right now because <laughs> right. it's gotten a little harder but uh 
I think this place helped out a lot with that, especially because I have been here like every other day, sometimes coming in every day to try and work on it and getting better and all that. Like what that. is it? Is it? What are your guys' uh, ultimate goals? Make it as far as I can. Yeah. Um, yeah. Play you think, do you it. think about playing in the major leagues? Yeah. All the time. All the time? Yeah. All right. Very good. Yeah. So how do you keep everything in perspective, though? You know, you're playing at a high level. You get, you, you know, I mean, both you guys sit pretty high up in some rankings as far as PBR and PG and whatnot. How do you keep all those things in perspective? I don't really think about it. Uh, usually I don't look at it. He's the one that usually tells me and sends me a picture, and I'm just like, oh, that's nice. Uh, it's not like it's like, I mean, it's important, obviously, but it's not like it's going to change very much about me, except for the fact that like, it might make a lot of people talk to me. Yeah. It's not going to change much about me. I just think um, every moment by moment, like, if it's day by day, it's not about the ranking. It's not about like what people think about you. It's just like if you're going to go to the next level, you're going to have to work. And it's not going to matter about ranking. It's going to matter about how much work you put in to get to that point. I think it's interesting, too, as you guys talk about this, you know, you've had a lot of success at the youth level. You're both into high school. You're a sophomore, right? Yeah. Freshman, correct? Yeah. You're both going into big-time programs that have had success and are big-time. There's some big-time athletes that you're competing against. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It kind of gives you a little perspective on that, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I, agree. I mean, being at Hal, it's very important to – be with your teammates and like work together because if you're not going to, you're not going to get far. But Al's big, <laughs> big in baseball. Yeah. And you got a lot of guys that are there in front of you that are very good, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. So how does that, how does that give you, uh, does that make you work harder? I mean, it does give me some motivation to be better than them. <laughs> but yeah. Absolutely. I, I don't see why not. Absolutely. I think if you're not competing at that level, you know, that's that's what you want. Yeah. When you're talking about if you're if you're thinking about the major leagues, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're both playing in programs that have very talented people. And if you can compete and beat somebody like that out, that's that's what you're looking to do. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's 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 natural. Yeah. Let's talk a little bit about your freshman year. What's what's your goals there? What what are you trying to do? Uh, honestly, I think I'll be on. Uh, I'll be higher for pitching than I have been for, or than I will be for hitting because that's how I was ranked and that's how I've been pretty much my whole life. Um, but honestly, I'm just trying to go out there and do what I do here, which is try and throw strikes and at least keep it consistent mm -hmm. and then same with hitting keep it up the middle and do what I've been taught there you go That's about it I like that do you like pitching or hitting better it depends on how I'm doing <laughs> <laughs> I like that yeah that, that's a judicious answer yeah <laughs> I, I love that. I agree. Why not? If I'm hitting well, I like hitting. Yeah. If I'm yeah. pitching well, I like pitching. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Are you are are you going both ways, or you just pitch? Um. Well, I heard Coach Perkins said that there's a spot at third base, so. Oh. I played third base or shortstop my whole life, so if I can get there, I'm gonna try. Give the give yeah. it a shot, right? Yeah. I love it. I love it. Yeah, because uh, there was a senior there at third base last year. He's you know. Uh, he's done. He's gone. Yeah. So open spot. When you were heading to into uh, the winter workouts, both at the schools now are starting opening up, whatnot. Um, uh, when you're going in there, are you making yourself known to the seniors and trying to get uh, get to know those guys a little bit? Well, I haven't had any. I just come here, but I haven't had anything at Hal since last season. So, but. I'm friends with multiple people on the team, so yeah. yeah. 
Hoping to have team chemistry. Very good. I haven't had, I haven't been able to go to any either. Uh, they didn't have enough space to invite uh, freshmen or sophomores, so they just had the older kids go. Um, but I do know a couple people that are seniors or um, juniors there, so I, that should be good for me. Yeah, there you I go. Hope. There you go. Guys, when you're done with uh, this year, high school, whatever you get done that way, the summer's coming up. What are you, you know, what, where, where are you guys headed to? What's your, what's your, you're playing on two different teams. Mm -hmm. You guys travel a lot as far as the teams are concerned or you're in different places? Yeah, we go together a good amount because uh, usually we, uh, we would always go together. We would probably have like one or two other teams go down with us. Um, it didn't really matter what teams. We just brought a couple down and then we all played in the same tournament and, uh, it was a lot of fun just being together so we could get to know each other a lot better and create a team. Yeah, yeah. Where are you headed to this year? Uh, Do you know yet? Like the... Tournament-wise? Oh, we go out of town five weekends in a row for yeah. the summer. We're going we go to Hoover. Out. Yeah, Hoover, Atlanta, Atlanta again, Iowa, I think, and Indy. Hopefully Iowa in like June or July, right? I think it's the first tournament. <laughs> yeah, it's Last year we did that, it was freezing. <laughs> oh, I man. Like the, yeah. I don't like the cold. Yeah, that's tough. That's a, that's a finger breaker right there. Yeah. You guys, when you're, you know, you'll be heading towards, you're, you're a little closer, recruiting process. I'm sure there's a lot of people around here that help you with those things. What, yeah. what, what, what schools you're looking at? Hey, you, give me, give me five of your, your um, targets. There. Well, I went to Oklahoma State. That was the first college I went to, and then I went to Louisville this past like three months ago, and then I went to Mizzou. But I talked to Tennessee too, and I think those are just the four that I've spoken to. But yeah, those schools you're interested in. Yeah, sweet. Like that? How about yourself, Brandon? I not yet. Nope, not yet. I haven't okay. looked at any schools yet. All right. I gotta see where it takes me first. Yeah. Is there a, is there a favorite? I think Mizzou just because it's the closest and it's best to see baseball. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is close. Hey, listen, that's a fact. It's always nice to stay close to home. Mom, yeah. Dad get to come and watch and all that kind of stuff, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And. Uh, Coach Jackson seems like he's got his uh, finger on that pulse pretty good, doesn't he? Yeah. Yeah? I like that. Guys, thanks. Thank Appreciate you Appreciate you taking the time. Thank you. Good luck to you this year. Brandon, Thank I, you. Oh, don't go nowhere yet. You guys say you guys say hi to mom. Oh, okay. Right? You guys just getting up and leaving. We ain't, we ain't signed off. Say bye yet. Dylan Curtis, Brandon Ott, say hi to mom. I love it. Hi, there mom. There you go. So this area back here is basically production. Um, they do a lot of the artwork back here, they do the production. So any of that stuff that comes in off of, we'll say our fanware stores, stuff that comes in off the team stores, a lot of the coaches wear, a lot of the last minute, hey, we gotta have it in the next 10 minutes stuff, that all comes back here. This area is where all the day-to-day -day stuff that comes in really goes through. The retail store is its own little entity, this is where the real work is done. To my left, I have Austin Jones from Lindbergh High School, TJ Bender from Lafayette High School. Both, uh, what teams do you guys play on here at Legacy? Uh, Ring uh, Ringy 16, yeah. Yeah, uh, Kessler 16. Kessler 16. So, guys, uh, what position do you play, buddy? Uh, I'm a catcher. Catcher? Yeah. First base and pitcher. First base and pitcher. Sweet. So, you're behind Xander at yeah. uh, Lafayette a I little am, bit I right am. now, right? Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but that's okay. That's, yeah. that's not a bad thing to be behind, Yeah, it's right? good things to like, take from him, you know? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Because uh, he's headed to KU, and mm -hmm. and I mean that's a that's a good experience. Oh, Have you sure. played? You th are you playing JV? Oh uh, yes, I did last year. I don't know about this year, but you know we're hoping for varsity. Yeah, absolutely. You know we'll see. We'll see. How about yourself? Uh, I was um I well last year as a freshman I was on varsity. I was fortunate enough that uh, spot was open, and I had a had a chance to really prove myself, and I, I did that. Very good. 
Awesome. So you're a freshman playing varsity? Yes. That has not happened very often. You know that, right? Yeah, it's it was it was a lot to take in. Yeah, sure. I'm sure. Yeah. Congratulations, young Thank man. You. That's good Thank stuff. Awesome. I didn't know that. <laughs> that see is stuff you learn every day. There you go. Fellas, thanks for joining us a little bit on the Player Spotlight. We do appreciate it. And as always, our Player Spotlight is powered by Game 7 Baseball, Game7Baseball.com. Gentlemen, talk to us a little bit about your youth experience. Uh, where'd you, where, how, when did you start playing ball? Uh, ever since I was, you know, three playing, start off at T-ball, you know, all the fun stuff, and then just playing since. Uh, I've played with Dylan and Brandon from, I think it was 10U from Legacy, and then we switched over to recruits. And then all the way up to 14U, and then Brandon, of course, went to Legacy and played mm-hmm. his age. And I've stuck with Dylan until last year I went over to Ringy's team. So I was with Wiggins the whole time before then, and then just switched over to Ringy. Okay. Yeah, I started with T-ball. I, uh, I played on an independent team. Uh, my dad coached me throughout eighth grade. So we had, uh, they were called the St. Louis Titans. We played them a lot, too, all the time. All the time. Yeah, we played a lot of Game 7 as well. Yeah, I know that team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, uh, it, it was so fun. A lot of, a lot of great friends. You guys, uh, you guys were a solid team, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Solid. Yeah, I've seen you guys play. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, because yeah, we're always out of Game 7 baseball. Mm-hmm. And so that, to me, is kind of the uniqueness. I love that, the dad coach. Yeah. You know, how, how, how did that work for you? Did you enjoy that? I, I did you? enjoy that. You know, it created a lot of good memories. Yeah. And uh, definitely a strong bond between me and him. So, yeah, I'll never forget those days. Now, did your dad play ball or did he oh, just yeah, get into it? Oh, yeah, he did. Yeah. He, uh, he played a lot of baseball in high school and then when it came to college he chose football over baseball so he played some uh, football at mizzou oh very yeah he was a quarterback Mm -hmm. i'm not kidding yeah he was so what was that experience like i think it's 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 always interesting you know the dads and the coaches you're you know the experience with the team talk to us a little bit about how that is what you learn from your dad that way well, you know, there's like some tough moments because, you know, he'll get on you. Like, I wasn't the typical coach's kid where he just played me up. Like, he, he was hard on me. But I definitely learned a lot from it because, uh, yeah, he was just really hard on me. So I would learn a lot from, you know, what he would tell me. <laughs> you know, it was, it, it, was, it was, yeah, it was just a fun time because he would always, he was, yeah, he was always hard on me. So he and, didn't wait for the car ride home. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, it was also good times too. So. Absolutely. It was a balance. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, my son played for me some, and, uh, you know, so I understand. Yeah. You had it in the car ride home, right? Oh. Uh, I mean, <laughs> yeah, I, my dad was my coach from, uh, I think he coached with Mike until tenure, and then he just decided to step down and give me a chance to, like, get some other exposure from the coaches, you know. I did get in the car ride after home sometimes, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's always good. It's, it's, it's good to be coached by your dad sometimes. Like, he'll tell you what some people won't, so. I agree. And I, I, I think it's tough sometimes, you know, and I think those relationships, uh, you know, as long as you understand and know that dad loves you, he's not mm-hmm. telling you because he doesn't, you know, he wants you to succeed, right? Yeah. yeah exactly. Sure. Tell, talk to us a little bit about, you know, your youth experience. How has that prepared you for high school? Hmm. Uh, well, you know, going from youth to high school, you know, like everything changes. Everyone gets better. Uh, you see kids' arms get, you know, stronger, harder, faster. Everyone's swinging harder and stuff. But just like the game itself, you know, like uh, in your, your, your mind, uh, it's definitely a challenge. You know, you just got to find like a balance between everything. And uh, I feel like that's, I've been doing pretty good at that. So, Absolutely. Yeah. I think that's difficult. You know, you transition 14U. You go right into high school playing mm-hmm. at the varsity. That's got it's, to be it's, a tough mental transition. Yeah, it's 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 pretty difficult. The arms the arms arms get a lot better. They don't miss their spots that often. Yeah. And if they do, then you got to take advantage of those mistakes. But you should once you go down like a path you're struggling, you just can't let it get to your mind, and you have to just think about the situation, take a deep breath, and go right back into it, attack it hard. Yeah, it helped you mature a little bit faster. Yeah, for sure, definitely. Yeah. So who did you lean on? You know, as a freshman, who were those guys that helped you through some of the tough spots? Uh, definitely. So I was fortunate enough that my hitting coach, Tyler and Michelle, was an assistant on Lindbergh. So he kind of picked me up even when I was falling. And then I had to, like, of course, the coaches here, like my Coach Ringy, Coach Pierman, I talked to them about things. They told me, take a deep breath, think about the scenario, and lifted me up. And then you get the playoffs, you're relaxed and feel great about the situation. Yeah. yeah. How are you guys looking coming back into uh... – this season you know you had kind of a down year a little bit right and because you guys were 
what, two years removed from the Final Four. Yeah. You know, that was a solid team, Dan Bourne. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So where are you guys at now? I, I think we're going to be better than ever. I mean, we have a lot of team camaraderie. I, we have a lot of guys who've been together in summer ball too, play together. You know, I've been, I'm still, I'm friends with all those guys who are seniors here. So our whole team is just family. Yeah. I think we'll be real good. We've got a couple good arms. Eli Woodall recently went to Lindenwood. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I think we'll be good. Very good. Very good. Mm -hmm. Now you're at uh, Lafayette going into your uh, sophomore year. Yes, sir. What do you guys, you know, I think you got a lot of talent. We do have a lot of talent. Coming into that, oh, yeah. you know, and you're looking to get a spot varsity-wise. Mm -hmm. Where do you where do you see your team at that point? Uh, well, I see our team, like, as a hitting team, we're going to be yeah. pretty solid. Um, Pitching-wise, though, we, we do have a decent amount of arms, but probably our number one guy, you know, he, like, kind of blew, blew his arm out. He was, uh, he was sitting around 90, and, you know, that's going to hurt us a lot. Yeah. But uh, we do have a couple, you know, younger kids that are going to come up and hopefully do well for us. Absolutely. So, yeah. Absolutely. What do you guys, when, when, as you're, as you've moved through this, this process, coming in here, how are you starting to prepare yourself for the high school season? Um, I think it starts with your preparation, all the mm -hmm. stuff like you got to hit with, hit with ringing once a week, and then we have hitting groups on Sunday. Getting like coached by him and seeing what I need to do to prepare myself for the high school season, my approach, how I attack the pitchers and stuff. Mm -hmm. and then I pitch with Pierman twice a week and talk about like. When I, because I'm gonna be, I think I'm gonna be a big part of the mount or pitching this year, and how I need to attack that, and it just gets, gets, gets me prepared. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. For me, just uh, getting a lot of swings in. Uh, I try to go to the gym four or five times a week, you know, just to get stronger, get better every single week, every single day. But yeah, that'll like uh, prepare me for the next level yeah. mentally and physically. You guys, uh, you know, we were talking with Jeff earlier, uh, you know, on the show. Uh, on the live show, and uh, I really like what Jeff had to say. How's how is that part of it? You know that development process with the weight training and those things. How's that helped you become better athletes? Uh, you definitely notice a difference in like your exavilas, how hard you are from that, how strong, how the ball just jumps off the bat. It's just a big part of the game. I mean, if you're if you're in the gym, you're gonna notice some results right away. Mm -hmm. It's just consistency is key. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a place to go to too. You know, somewhere to rely on. Like, it's just I love it too. Yeah, so it's, it's a passion for me. So, you like lifting? I love lifting. Yeah. <laughs> I love lifting. <laughs> so you're a gym rat. Yeah, in a way, yeah. I love that stuff. Yeah. Guys, talk to us a little bit about uh, you know your goals. What it, what what have you set for yourself this year? Uh, definitely to play college baseball. Um, yeah. But you know, if I'm fortunate enough to you know go big leagues, go pro, that's definitely the dream. But you know, just step by step, you know, I'll lead to big things. Yeah. So that's my goals. What, are there colleges that you've thought about so far? Um, not yet. I mean, definitely I would love to go like some big time schools like, you know, mm -hmm. Tennessee, LSU, Louisiana, just sure. some, some schools like that. But, you know, maybe that's not as realistic. So maybe I'll settle for something smaller. But you know, I still have like three years left of high school and summer ball. So we'll see how my journey goes. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. I, I mean, I like to take it day by day and try to get better every single day and then worry about it. when the time comes, I guess, August 1st, I think it is, that mm -hmm. coaches start, start yeah. talking yeah, to you. Yeah, your junior year. Yeah, yeah. I mean, then I worry about then, but I just got to work, work on getting better every single day to improve myself for when that time comes. Do you guys think about, you know, I, I'm sure you've you've dealt with the, 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 the showcase things and things like that. Uh, do you guys attend those types of yeah. events? Uh, sure. Yes. Yeah, for sure. What have you done so far? Uh, I did last, I guess it was last, or I guess a couple months ago, I did the preseason thing with PBR oh, yeah. down at, uh, it wasn't at Mizzou, it was, uh, I don't remember the name. That's I don't okay. know the field, but did one of those. And then I guess it is coming up, I had the perfect game uh, barn yeah. showcase or whatever it is. Sure, sure. I'm going to the barn one as well. I haven't done any uh, really in the past yet because I uh, I play soccer as well. That's taking up a lot of time. So you're going to the sports barn in February? Yeah. That's the PBR uh, yeah. showcase event. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good one. That's mm -hmm. a big I've one. Heard, I've heard. So what do you try? What what? How do those things help you as far as an athlete? What are you looking to do when you go to a showcase like that? What what's the what what's your thought process? It gives me a baseline of what I'm at and what I want to improve on. It gives it gives me time to set goals on what I want to get to in my next showcase mm -hmm. and see how much I've improved and just keep on working on improving every single day. Yeah. Also just like exposure, you know, getting your name out, being confident in what you can do. Uh, if you can do everything you want to do, like when you're in that showcase, you can show it to other people. Yeah. 
and if they like it, you know. Does it get a little nerve-wracking when you go into those events? Uh, it can, 100%, but, you know, uh, when I go to events like that, I should have confidence in myself and do what I know I can do. Absolutely. So that's how I play, yeah. I love the we, – we're – it's a bummer. I, I'd love to do that, but this year we're not going to be able – because we're going to be at the Lake of the Ozarks for the Winter Workout Tour. We're normally at that event, but this year we're going to be at – we're not going to be able to make that one. But uh, hopefully we'll see you guys around in those yeah. things. Hopefully oh, yeah. we're going to – we might – you never know. We might do mm -hmm. uh, do some games here. We got some uh, high school games that we're looking at uh, that we're scheduling and whatnot. So hopefully we'll see you out. Yeah. We. I definitely. I, I, I'm gonna have to look at the Lindbergh schedule. Yeah, Lindbergh versus Vianney. I got a game for you. Lindbergh, Lindbergh versus Vianney. It's uh, mm. cold. It's cold. It's a little Melville Lindbergh tournament, but it's always a great <laughs> game. Always good competition. I love it. Yeah, I love yeah. it. You guys. You guys gonna beat Vianney this year? Uh I, I have comps in our team. I mean, it's always a tough game, but it's always close. So yeah. it's whoever, whoever gets the best of them. But yeah, yeah. they're stacked. They're, they, they stacked. got a good team, but yeah. you know, we just gotta approach it the right way. I love the confidence, man. I love that. I love yeah. that. Your guys as rivals. I was surprised when you beat Eureka last year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. in the districts. There. I was kind of too, but yeah, that's. Uh, I mean, those are big rivalries. Yeah, very big. You know, so I'm looking forward to seeing that again this year. Yeah, I so. See how that works out. Yeah. But, sure. uh, gentlemen, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank Thanks you. For Appreciate you yeah. taking time. TJ Bender, Austin Jones, guys, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Looking forward to seeing you guys uh, mm -hmm. out there on the ball field. Thanks for having so, us. Yeah, thank folks, you. thanks for joining us. Please, if you like what we're doing, hit that subscribe button right there if you haven't done that already. The dinger next to it. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. if you, you, you've hit a. I've had a couple dingers. A couple yeah. dingers? Yeah. Same, same. Same? Yeah, same. Yeah, yeah. That's all right. Well, there you go. Did you kiss the guns like that? I kind of took my stroll around the base. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Don't go too fast, right? There you go. Take a little time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what will get you all your notifications for upcoming episodes such as this. We do appreciate you being with us. Everybody have a great day in the Lord. All you pitchers. Pitchers, what do pitchers do? Go strikes. Hitters? Go yard. Go yard. Go yard. Go yard. I love it. We'll see you all next time. <laughs>